Good morning, Savvy Family. We have been doing a pantry challenge, using up what we have in a more creative way, and it is about time to go to the store and replenish our produce and dairy. Anytime I go to the grocery store, bargain discount store, I wanna have a good idea of what my regular prices are and also what the sale prices are going to be. And keep an eye out for those both while I'm shopping and at the register. The broccoli was supposed to be 99 cents per pound. There was a tag that said that, but there was also a $1.49 tag. And when I got to the checkout, it scanned as $1.49. So just make sure that you're keeping an eye out on that because the cashiers are more than happy to help you take care of that, at least at my store. <laughs> They're happy to help you because you wanna make sure you get the right price. Knowing what your regular price and what a good sale price is on some common items that you stock up at your home, it really helps you be able to know if what you're seeing is a good price or not. If you've been around here for long enough, you know that clearance produce is my jam and I hit the jackpot today. But the broccoli that I found on clearance was actually not as good of a deal as the sale price that I got. I paid 99 cents a pound versus this bag being on sale for $1.49 and that was only 12 ounces. So I skipped that one and I picked up a bunch of other things even if they were regular price. We go through a ton of fruit and veggies and I was shocked at the sheer volume that I got today for so little. It was an awesome day. Are you all noticing any kind of shortages in your area? I know we've had a few different things that were not readily available to us for a while. And for some reason, cream cheese has been one of those things. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you. You may know by now that I love to spend less and create more, which starts here in the grocery store, but it follows through when you get into the kitchen and how you prepare those foods. So if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and subscribe, become part of the Savvy family, check out more videos that I have down in a playlist in the description box where you can see more grocery hauls, recipes, cook with me videos, and to see how I use what I've purchased. All right, so we're not doing a strict pantry challenge right now. I will go ahead and continue to share with you some items that we are using up in a creative way, but let's get into this fun grocery haul. I found these cookie cones, chocolate chip cookie, and there are eight in here down to $1.89. We are actually not using these for ice cream, so make sure you stick around for future videos. I'm gonna share with you what we do. And then I also wanted to get this rye bread, $1.49. It makes my favorite breakfast toast. So I got that. I have not learned how to make rye bread yet. So I picked that up. And then speaking of making bread, I am almost out of yeast. I love to get this Kroger one in the jar. It is less than the other brands. And I love that I don't have to cut open packages. I also got some eggs for baking. These were down to a dollar. So they're not as delicious as the pasture raised. And then speaking of pasture raised, these are not Vital Farms. These are from a lady at my church. So I'm just gonna wash those off and then put those in my fridge. Not yet. I also wanted to pick up a couple of quick items. This was on clearance down to $2.49. I've tried another one of their dishes and I usually just bulk it up with either some extra vegetables or some protein. So I might do that with this one as well, but it's a Korean style barbecue beef bowl and it has a lot of yummy things in there. And the fat content was pretty good. I think it was only seven 
So seven grams of fat, 21 protein. And then I also got this DiGiorno pizza. I love that they have the self-rising crust. It's just delicious. And then it was on clearance. So I went ahead and got that for $3.29 and we can add our own toppings to it. I was thinking about getting the Supreme, but the rest of the family doesn't like some of those items on a Supreme. We needed more milk. The furthest date out was May 7th, so that's what we got. And then I also had to get some more sour cream or Greek yogurt in our house. I like to use this because I can substitute it for different items. You get more protein, less fat, and then you can also use it as your yogurt, put it in smoothies. So that way I only have one container and it's both sour cream and yogurt. I also wanted to get some more cheese. We're having tacos on Tuesday and I'm out of Colby Jack, which is what we like to use on our tacos. And these were buy one, get one free, making them the same price as the store brand. I needed vegetables. Can you tell we were, we were dying for some fresh produce. So I picked up the Brussels sprouts. I'm probably gonna be the only one that eats them. So I will cook them and freeze some. $1.99 was a really great price for this. One and a half pounds of Brussels sprouts. Broccoli is my family's favorite, so I went ahead and got all of this. I like to be able to have raw broccoli that's just fresh and in the fridge. I'm gonna chop it up, and then we can have that as a side for kids' lunches. I love broccoli. We might end up cooking some of it. And then I wanted some cilantro for our tacos. We love having fresh cilantro. I'll make some pico, we put it in with our meat. It's just, we love cilantro. I also wanted to get some mushrooms. I'm probably, again, the only one that's gonna eat them, but this was a great price, and I like to add them to my stir fry, lunches, breakfast, in my eggs, all kinds of things. They're so good. And we needed onion, I'm down to one. So I just went ahead and picked up two of these large onions. I tend to only use half whenever I'm cooking a meal that needs it for my family. I also, for more vegetables, wanted to get some raw carrots. These are just so great for the kids and I really like them too. I'll shred them sometimes too and use them in my salad, but baby cut carrots are just so easy. And then I also wanted to get this butternut squash I found on clearance, so excited. These bags are only 99 cents, so that's a fantastic deal for two butternut squash. We just peel them, dice them, roast them in the oven, put a little bit of cinnamon and salt, and they are so good love them i also got some produce from my mom whenever she went to kroger the other day and she split some things with me so she gave me two zucchini i'm actually going to use these today and then she gave me a bag of tomatoes these were again 99 cents and i already got one of them out of here so that's a really great deal for vine ripened organic tomatoes and then she got me two bags of peppers so here's two green and this one, two green and that, and then a red and a yellow. So $1.98 for both of those total. And today when I went in, I got a bag of yellow, which is one of my absolute favorite. So I'm going to be chopping some of them up and freezing. I'm going to use them in some breakfast meal preps, and then I'm also going to use them for lunches for myself this week. So those will get used up. I needed some more spinach, so I got this 50-50 blend, $1.49, and then the large pack, I really wanted just regular spinach as well, so did not have a clearance sticker on that one, paid full price, and this living lettuce is so delicious. I'm going to use this in some of my lunches this week, $1.49. This makes the best wraps, like if you're wanting to have like Asian chicken lettuce wraps or whatever, those are so good. And then I also got more of the angel hair coleslaw. This is so good in pad thai, so 99 cents for that. And then this big bag of mandarin oranges, because it was in the section with all the clearance fruit and it was in a red bag, I thought that it was 99 cents. I'm like, that's a killer deal. Uh, no, it was 4.49, so I still got it. Um, I will tell you what the original price is here. And then I also needed some more bananas. We got those, a big thing of strawberries. This is two pounds and my family will eat them all very quickly. However, they were not on sale. They were not a great price. So I was kind of bummed about that. And then a bag of apples, which is Dakota's favorite. He eats an apple almost every day. They didn't have his favorite kind on sale, so I just got the Granny Smith three pound bag. So before I put everything away into my fridge, I wanted to get it cleaned out really well. So I pulled out all of the leftovers that we would be eating for dinner that night. I had pizza, mac and cheese. We also pulled out some cut fruit, and then I started washing everything. So 
in here, a yogurt kind of busted out. So I need to wash all of this, take everything out. Having a clean fridge like this really sets the tone for me for the rest of the week. I have all of the fresh produce in there and I can just, I can breathe. It's like waking up with a nice clean kitchen sink. I just feel ready to tackle my day. So I made a meal plan and a lot of our vegetables have already been eaten through for breakfast and lunches, snacks, dinner. And that's one of the biggest things about meal planning is to utilize what you have and make sure that you have a game plan for what needs to be used first before it goes bad. So I'd love to hear from you what kind of meals come to your mind when you see my fridge right now. Of course, until the next video, I will see you down there in the comments. Thanks so much for watching.